Yesterday, Donald Trump sat down for an interview that aired yesterday on Univision where he laid out his agenda if he's elected president again. And it, se it seems like the first item on his list after he gets out of prison. <laughs> Looking at President Donald Trump who had this interview and he was trying to talk about the um, situation the, that if anyone who is in when he becomes a president, if you are not moving like war alongside like doing those things are right, you are going to be in jail. Obviously, it's going to pull you off and put you in jail. But according to the women in the view, they have their own perspective, how they look at things. Let's see what they talk about um, President Donald Trump interview. It's the Justice yeah. Department. They weaponized the FBI. Would you do the same if you're reelected? If they do this, as they've already done it, but if they want to follow through on this, uh, yeah, it could certainly happen in reverse. It could certainly happen in reverse. What they've done is they've released the genie out of the box. If I happen to be president and I see somebody who's doing well and beating me very badly, I say, go down and indict them. Mostly, well, that would be, you know, they would be out of business. They'd be out. They'd be out of the election. I thought the genie was in a bottle. When did it get in a box? <laughs> He's losing it. He's losing So are voters still going to respond to his constant whining about being a victim? I don't know, but you know? if he's doing, uh, if he's weaponizing government against his uh, opponents, boy, are we in trouble. Well, it's like, it's like Nixon's enemies list, you well, know. In those days, he had a whole list of people that he was going to go after, and then, of course, Doesn't he Doesn't it feel like resign. history repeating itself? I mean, I just read a book about how history is, is cyclical, and, you know, every century or so, or every couple decades, this type of thing keeps on happening. It feels like McCarthyism. It feels like Jake Edgar Hoover's list. Anti-Semitism is back. Anti-Semitism mm. is on the it rise. Left, Islamophobia right? is on well, the rise. It's, kind of it's, it's like, I don't think, though, that... The ladies in their views, they um, look at it like President Donald Trump is weaponizing his, his voters. Like, he's like being... He's weaponizing his voters like if you don't go along his way he don't agree with you and he promised to put you to jail in court that's their own interpretation they went and said that um, somebody like nixon was in the past was behaving the same the way donald trump has the same ideology like with the way donald trump had and if you don't go alongside with him he was going to put you in jail so according to sony history always repeat itself but because most people especially the american people they don't know history every century or every decade somebody like that always appeared and if the people know about their history it could have been better they already know the mindset or whoever is coming back because the people don't know about history they don't read history that is why they found themselves in this type of scenario according to what the women in the views are saying what do you think do you really agree that um do you are you in support of what they are saying do you believe in what they are saying that um president donald trump um does not really um is weaponizing his um his um voters he's bullying them if you don't agree to what he's saying he's going to send you to jail or are you on the other side that President Donald Trump, um, although he's a president, but if you don't, if you do something that is con is not contrary, according out of what the law is in the book, he is going to take the law and put it to jail. So, what do you really think? Can I see your own opinion on the comment session? Let's just keep watching. People know their history. I think our our education has failed a, a couple of the generations. And they don't realize that this is history that we've seen before. And if you don't know history, past becomes prologue. And that's why we're seeing that somebody like Donald Trump is going to be. But don't his, in, in, me, here. don't his supporters see that he turns on people who are in his corner? If you dare to go against him, even this much, he goes bananas on you. They don't understand that that's a dictatorship. They don't see the signs of fascism. And they don't see that they, they will be the next it. victims of this vitriol. They well, haven't and, and the it. reality is this, is he's, Donald Trump is running for president for two reasons, to stay out of jail and to get revenge on his enemies. And when he right. speaks, we should listen. And frankly, it's scary. Um, he's already said he's going to come after people like General John Kelly, my former boss, Chairman Mark Milley, people who dare to stand against him. Mike Pence. Journalists. Um, I, yeah, I think there's reason us. for all of us to be concerned. What about us? But there's a, there's a really interesting... <laughs> try it. Go ahead, try it. We have this there's, show every day, okay, yeah. Donald? Um, <laughs> there's a really interesting metaphor in uh, Susan Glasser's book, The Divider, about Trump, where she describes him like the dinosaur in Jurassic Park who gets smarter and he learns how to open the door. 
according to the ladies in the views they think that donald trump is a dictator according to them then according to farah he she said that donald trump only wants to become a president because he wants to revenge to the people that he has wrong and he wants to put people in jail so that that, that is the reason that donald trump wants to become a president and that that's the only reason why donald trump is like uh want to become that president to put people in jail and to revenge to the people he called she calls on names of some people that donald trump promised to put them in jail when he, if he's being selected as a president of the united states so to them they don't see that funny they don't even want him to win that election. Let's just keep watching here with this. A second term, mm -hmm. Donald Trump knows how to weaponize government. He didn't get a lot of things his first term. He also isn't motivated by the fear of, I have to run for re-election. It will be scarier than the first time. And one thing I just want to say, because I think this is not getting enough attention, he's talked about how he wants to gut the civil service. He wants to make every federal employee fire at will and replace them with loyalists. If a pandemic hits, if a war in Israel happens, like we see right now, Ukraine, he will remove people People with the expertise to solve with it and put in loyalists to him. And does he think that nice. everyone has caused so many crimes that if the Justice Department just looked into it, they too would have indictments? Does he really not see that they kept appointing special investigators specifically to keep their their path clean from the Justice Department? Everything that came to him was not, it was so blatantly the opposite of weaponizing. He I, was guilty. I he has stuff that he's already... Um, he doesn't this was a very interesting uh, interview he did. He did, it was a very long interview with yeah. Univision. He had not given Univision an interview since 2015 when he kicked co-anchor Jorge Ramos out of a campaign oh, yeah. event. Um, he, you know, he feels very good of where he is uh, with Latinos. I think it's a wake-up call. So to them, um, according to Joe Bea, Joe Bea is trying to tell Donald Trump that they are still going to be there and they are going to they run that show every day. They still come back for the show every day that Donald Trump cannot do nothing to them. She was just, that's a, a comedy she was trying to create out of there that um, she showed that if Donald Trump become the president, even they will be in trouble. They will go to jail also well, because of whatever they have been seeing about him. They have not been going along his way. They went ahead and talked about um, that um, something that the country is lawless. They don't really follow the police to change a lot of stuff. Even what is happening in Israel, if he was there, he could have changed a lot of stuff. So um, they believe that Donald Trump did not do a lot of stuff in his first term. This second term, he is weaponized and is about to do a lot of stuff. So he's prepared. He's coming as a prepared person. And they are not finding that funny. Thank you very much for watching. If you have not subscribed, please help subscribe and help share the video. Also like the video. This is the only way that will make us grow this channel. If you want to be a part of, if you like what I'm doing, I want to support in your own little way. Underneath, you can become the, join the membership. It's underneath this video. Thank you very much and God bless you.